Hey guys, so today I'm at the Manhattan Vintage clothing show. It is so cold out here and I may or may not be running into a familiar face here, so stay tuned. It's my first time here. I'm super excited and just, just to get inspired, okay? Um, so let's head on in. It's freezing. Excuse me, miss. Excuse me. <laughs> Look who it is, guys. <laughs> in the flesh. <laughs> Hey guys, so today I'm headed to the Goodwill Warehouse, which is located in Astoria, Queens. Your girl is gonna be curating a special section for the Goodwill pop-up, which is going on during the entire month of February. So yeah, the warehouse is massive. Like this is the main distribution center for all the Goodwills in New York and New Jersey, I believe. This is pretty much where all the clothes go. They get sorted and then distributed amongst all the other Goodwills. So. This place is insane. Yeah, this is where all your clothes are and I'm just super excited, ecstatic to be working with Goodwill. I've been shopping Goodwill or thrifting for over 10 years and Goodwill has always been like that source of thrifted fashion for me. I've been a million years, I thought I'd be working with Goodwill, but I'm so grateful for the opportunities my platform has afforded me and especially thankful for you guys for just tuning in and just inspiring me and just keeping me motivated. So kudos to y'all, y'all dope. So guys, today I'm off to the Goodwill. Um, that's downtown Brooklyn, my first time going. This is the one that has the curated collection, so I'm super excited to check it out. I'm also gonna be interviewed by News One, which is a local news station here in New York City, just talking about my curated collection with Goodwill, so I'm really excited about that. So yeah, guys, let's go. and try on girl i have so many great things to show you guys and i feel like you know every time i do a haul i always say like this is my best haul yet but honestly this might be my best haul yet you know just when you keep just discovering your personal style you really start honing in on your style each time you go shopping it's gonna get better and better all right so first up we have the manhattan vintage clothing show this was my first time going. I didn't even know something like this existed. It was like pure heaven. Like when I die, this is what I want my heaven to look like. Surprisingly, this is where I met up with Karen. 
you know, this was my this wasn't my first time meeting her, but this was the first time like we hung. So she was actually the one that invited me and told me about it. And I know you guys have been wanting wanting us to collab for the longest, but you know the vibe gotta be right. You know, like I gotta check the vibe because I can't just be out here collaborating with anything anything or anyone I'm really big on energy so you always need like those icebreakers to fill a person out and you know Karen is so sweet like we vibe we connected we have like similar interests and you know you know she's dope so of course we're gonna collab comment down below with any video suggestions you guys may have let us know you know we're here to serve you but anyway let's get into these pieces I mean you know, my budget didn't allow me to go over two pieces, but you know, I'm really happy and satisfied with the two pieces that I got. Whew. All right, so first up, of course, I had to get a blazer. Like, like, why are you playing? <laughs> Y'all already know the deal. There we have this vintage Giorgio Armani blazer, which is most definitely probably a men's blazer. Yeah, because it's a size 48. So you, you girls know she's very structured. She's oversized, nice, loose fit, just the way that I like her. And she's in a nice neutral color. Like I've been really feeling neutrals lately, as you guys will see as we go through this haul. Like neutrals, like we here, girl. Uh, I love all the buttons down the center. The shoulders are just so structured. Totally here for that. I love this because like obviously it's oversized but you can wear it make it into a dress belt it wear it open and she's very lightweight this is like kind of like a linen type of fabric so she's lightweight breathable can wear it now spring and summer so I love me a versatile piece that can take me from season to season okay all right so next up I picked up this vintage Donna Karen belt this is actually genuine crocodile okay get into that texture yes and this belt buckle who Karen actually picked this out and I saw it I was like girl give me that you don't want that give it to me <laughs> um, so you see like sometimes thrifting with a friend can be beneficial all right <laughs> all right so now let's move on to the Goodwill I checked out and this was my first time checking out the Goodwill downtown Brooklyn on Livingston Street this is also the Goodwill that has the curated shop within the Goodwill and girls if y'all haven't been to this Goodwill like seriously y'all gotta go like this is my new favorite spot like hands down if you haven't heard of curated by Goodwill it's pretty much hand-picked great selection good quality really great pieces vintage designer stuff like so it's a shop within a shop so sometimes you know even for me I do enjoy the hunt but sometimes I don't have five hours to dedicate to thrifting so on those days when I just want to get in and get out, the curated shop is there. It's like I mentioned, everything is handpicked, hand selected. So this is actually also where I got interviewed by New York One. Your girl was on the news. What? Like my mom made it. <laughs> uh, so I ended up curating a collection for Goodwill. So New York One came down and covered it and just was taking me, I was taking them through the curated section in the Goodwill on Livingston Street, just talking about trends, talking about, you know, why I love thrifting, why thrifting, you know. It's so versatile. You can find basics, staple pieces, but you also can find really trendy pieces. Like it's very fashion forward. Right, so this was like an amazing opportunity, amazing partnership, and never would I ever thought that I would curate a collection for Goodwill. But we here. All right, so let's get into these pieces, okay? I mentioned I did pick up some stuff from the curated section, but I majority of the pieces that I got was actually from the main Goodwill section. And so first up, we have this amazing beaded bag girls like what what like you can see find something like this in Zara and Mango but guess what we got it from the Goodwill like thrift store we here this is less than ten dollars this is gonna be like my go-to summer bag you can even wear it now like just mixing textures and fabrics and I've been on the hunt for a chain belt for like the longest like something I can really like drape over me and girl when I found this one <laughs> I could wrap her around my body like three times and it has the little tassels on the end this is probably hands down my favorite piece from this haul mm, next to the Armani blazer that I just showed you guys because this like I'm serious like I can't get over how amazing this piece is from Goodwill and y'all know I love belts you can wrap her around Laser, wrap her around a blouse you can give like a necklace like <sighs> I need to contain myself because I'm getting just way too excited ah uh, like I said this haul like girl she came through this haul I mean of course I got another blazer like like who are you kidding 
I picked up another men's blazer. This one is in an olive color and she's Ralph Lauren, honey. Okay, designer. I actually picked this one up from the curated section in Goodwill. And of course she's oversized, very boxy men's blazers. Like that's honestly what you wanna do. If, you, if you're really into boxy, oversized, really structured blazers, you just wanna bypass the women's section and go straight to the men's section. You're really gonna find that fit that you're looking for love this blazer and it also comes with a a vest so i can really get my menswear look popping off next up i picked up a tweed skirt like i'm in love with tweed it's very chanel on budget and you know i just love mixing textures and fabric so tweed is a great fabric and texture to kind of mix with your other more one-dimensional pieces skirts i actually wore this blazer with this skirt to the curated pop-up event that i did and she did that <laughs> i picked up another tweed skirt this time we have a green one something that's very different for my closet but i have a few ideas that i want to kind of do with this one this one is originally from j crew it's a size two but girl this is a very roomy size two so i feel like i'm gonna take in the sides and then i want to shorten it but she has a split in the back and that might become like very awkward and maybe i can just like sew the split down i don't know we shall see you can like obviously wear it with like a plain white shirt and just that that's definitely a look okay it's like even when i'm thrifting i always ask myself can i wear this piece in at least three different ways if not i don't get it i don't care if it's 5.99 like I'm, I'm just not gonna get it because what i'm all about is maximizing my wardrobe and limiting my consumption and even though it's thrifted you can get a little overboard because you see something that's 5.99 you just want to rack up on the 5.99 but you don't really need it so even when you're thrifted you need to be conscious of your consumption so utility chic is really in right now like your camos your military inspired pieces you like one pieces or jumpsuits totally here for that and girl before you go to urban before you go to these places that's gonna try to try that's going to try you with the prices all right definitely check out the thrift store i know l train vintage down here has tons of utility stuff like the camo the jackets like the whole vibe is there so go to the thrift store stop playing yourself so from goodwill lastly i picked up this Ooh, olive jumpsuit girl she's everything <laughs> i have issues like please don't mind me oh i love this jumpsuit obviously you can wear it straight like that you can take off the top tie it around your waist with a t-shirt or like a bra top you could throw a turtleneck under here like you can wear it with like some pumps you could wear it with sneakers with boots like and we love one pieces why because the top and the bottom is already done for you. Like less time trying to figure out what you're gonna wear, what you're gonna match with what. Now all you have to do is accessorize. So we like pieces that do the work for us, okay? All we have to do is accessorize and we out the door. So that's it for Goodwill. All right, so next up we have the curated pop-up shop with Goodwill that I actually helped curate. This took place uh, during the month of February at the Chelsea Market and I actually had an event. It was a nice little pop-up event. You guys came out, shopped the collection, we drank, we did a little too much. We took pictures. We had a really, really great time. Once again, an amazing opportunity. Um, also, CBS actually came out, covered the event. I did an interview with them. It was live, girl. <laughs> I was on the news again. Like, mama, I made it twice in one week. I was on the news. Anyway, <laughs> it was just like so exciting. Like ultimately, that's what I want to do. And I think it's really important to have a black woman, a woman of color, talking about sustainability because a lot of times we get left out of the conversation when we've always been about this life because of lack of resources and lack of money. And so sustainability for a lot of people is new, um, it's trendy. But for a lot of us, it's something that's been ingrained in us, something that we had to do, not necessarily wanted to do. Um, and now that it's, it's fashionable, I feel like we need to be at the forefront of the conversation. So I'm just, I'm lucky, I'm grateful to actually push this narrative 
you know forward with us at the forefront all right so first up is another blazer and before y'all start to drag me she's not oversized she's not structured she's actually a woman's blazer thank you very much and she's patterned here she is <laughs> a very nice fitted blazer great texture great print of the tiny little pockets in the front that can like probably hold like some change and that's about it or just like these four fingers and then the thumb is just chilling outside next up we have this brown genuine leather jacket i don't own anything brown leather oh girl and that smell i just had to have her like the smell of genuine leather is truly unmatched like who are you playing um, and as I mentioned like neutrals, I'm really big on neutrals and I just you know love that this would just be able to match everything in my wardrobe. This was $40. Like where are you gonna find a genuine leather jacket for $40? Like this smell alone is worth $40. Okay. Next up another belt, another textured belt. She's brown and this is actually real lizard. Like that kind of creeps me out. I didn't realize it until like I got home that this was real lizard but Get into that texture. All right, so I have this neutral, shiny trench coat. Very vintage. The shoulder pads alone is just giving me everything that I need. I can't believe I used to hate shoulder pads. I was so childish. Like, girl, what are you doing? <laughs> um, yeah, this is really cute. I have tons of trench coats. I literally need one like every complexion. So as I was saying, everything is like I got is like very neutral and everything goes together. I think that's really important when you're discovering your personal style and having a more cohesive wardrobe. You really want to come up with a color palette. This way, everything goes together. Come up with a color palette. This way, your wardrobe is cohesive. Everything goes together because everything matches. And it'll just, you know, simplify getting dressed, simplify coming up with options. And outfit. I've been I've been really 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 loving maxi and midi skirts. They're just amazing. <laughs> I picked up this one in like an off white tan color. She has lace at the bottom and it's kind of like tiered. Really really great piece. Um, it's just giving me like Little House on the Prairie. So I'll probably wear it with like pair with like a peasant top or off the, off the shoulder top crop top that kind of vibe and even now you can wear it like with some boots throw on a blazer and kind of like mix tex textures but still keep it all in that same family anything monochromatic you kind of want to play with textures and mix textures it'll just make it more dimensional versus just flat okay so you really want to pop you really want to showcase your styling abilities so really get it popping girls <laughs> next up I picked up these like spandex crop Pants. They stop like right above my knees, so they look great with like some sneakers or even a pair of boots. And no pockets, unfortunately. These are really cute. They're originally from Chico's. I can drape that um, that chain belt would probably look really cute draped around this. Next up, I picked up these off-white, really wide leg pants, and they aren't wrinkled that's actually texture I guess give me texture girl <laughs> these are way too big for me um, but they kind of work I was thinking about switching out the elastic in there to make it a little tighter along the waist but then still keeping how wide they are they do they have pockets I'm gonna die oh they have pockets yes anything with pockets like I stand I'm, I'm tired of winter. This is honestly the longest winter ever. So I was like, maybe if I start shopping for summer pieces, then maybe like winter, be like, all right, you know, I guess I'll, I'll wrap it up. But clearly she's still here and she's doing the absolute most. Picked up another skirt. This one is printed and she's also a smidge, not even a smidge. She's like, I would say an inch on both sides too big, but she has pockets. So I was wondering like, this is probably gonna be a project because I really really like this print I might just there's a seam in here and I'll probably just take it in from there I don't know or I'll do like what I normally do and what is that like put a belt on it <laughs> but you know I told myself in 2019 I'm gonna you know step up my sewing skills so we shall see all right so next up I picked up this gorgeous beaded dress I don't know where I'm gonna wear her, but it really doesn't matter because I have her. 
and she's here to stay she had to come home like she's just so beautiful and i don't own anything that's like super dressy and then when those occasions come and i have to get dressed up i'm like scrambling trying to find something so we'll just save her for that all right so next up we have these off-white khaki pants that are originally from the gap so these are a size 10 i normally wear around a size 4 but i really wanted a nice baggy pair of khaki pants um it's just nice loose relaxed fit i just have some looks in my head that i kind of want to give and as far as the waist or fitting on your waist you can always obviously belt it so you have a nice cinch in waist and then nice relaxed loose fit throughout the legs the butt and the hips all right so last but certainly not least i'm a sucker for really colorful dresses i just really love pairing them with sneakers and creating a nice juxtaposition between girly and sporty um so we have this really colorful midi maxi dress um it has buttons going down the front uh so y'all yeah, probably built this to kind of break up the pattern and it'll also add texture in there as well you can wear this with a boot or a sneaker like a white sneaker will probably be really cute and chic all right guys so that completes this video i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to thumbs up if you haven't done so already thank you guys so so much for rocking with me thus far and just allowing me to just have a space and a platform to really just showcase my love and what i'm passionate about like i really love helping you guys out and just sharing my knowledge as far as style is concerned so thank you thank you thank you for tuning in and i'll see you guys in my next video so until next time peace and darkness.